It's a very good one. And aside from a voice crack, oh, let's uh, finally give Brad that strength apple too. <laughs> okay, well, oh boy. I don't like that. I don't like those luck settings, but I'm not going back in town just to stay at the inn. All right. So yeah, uh, the Diablo Pillar is in that black triangle area. I thought it was in the inner sea, but nope, I just remembered wrong. So all that early prep work done, let's take on our first Diablo Pillar. Yep, right there on the radar. Smack dab in the black part of the ocean. First one, Ptolemy. So these are mostly puzzle dungeons with a few new enemies each, but very straightforward. Starting with an ambush. Or just required fight. Okay, so these enemies, Grisago, they are weak to lightning. And I don't think I got a regular spark back with Lilka. So let's go ahead and bring Tim back in. You should be able to one-shot them. They have, ooh, they have 800 HP. So I think I'm going to want to focus fire on one at a time. I'm going to be working on getting uh, cannon's abilities, of course. Another uh, good time for, for that up P to fend. Ooh, paralyzing stench. Oh, I. Yeah, paralysis is a very annoying status element in this game. But Tim is also good for keeping us topped off. Okay, good enough. And... Like a can, I can. Unleash some drive cuts. Unfortunately, Luka's paralyzed, so... I'm just gonna play defensively here. So let's see how long it takes to <laughs> get Ganon's last two abilities. Oh, not enough to... One-shot him, unfortunately. But, funny thing is... Yeah, Luka and Tim should have higher physical defense. Yeah, the focus fire sucks. And, yep, another first aid. Yeah, I think Tim was slower than them, too. That kind of sucks. It's going to take another couple rounds, unless... Well, anyone else get paralyzed? Oh, boy. Well, uh, let us uh, just finish this off quickly. I think paralysis extends it to the until after battle too. So welcome to the Diablo Pillars. <laughs> this is a bit of a difficulty spike in the game too. And remember those end game enemies I mentioned not to fight when you can access that island in the inner sea? They don't get much more experience than these guys. And, okay, no, not paralyzed. It's basically cross each floor and hit the crystal. There are no treasures in here because it is all, these are all temporary dungeons. I'm surprised there was not a single battle prompt there. But we'll start running into some puzzles before long, such as right here. See those big cubes? We actually have something that Brad could blow up! Don't know if there are any battle prompts. Ah! Well, we can blow them up, but they'll squish us. <laughs> so we have, to, we have to be quick. Oops. Okay, I gotta, I gotta do better than that. Okay, so yeah, get about here. Yeah, about two, uh, two sets of four away for your bombs. Just let it roll on top. 
It takes about three blasts to kill it. Uh, maybe, maybe just two. Can't, can't tell if it has iframes or not. Yep, it's three. Ba-boom. Oh, there's another one! Oh, screw you. Oh, poop. Now the question is, yeah, not all of them reset, because otherwise we'd see that first one right away. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even see that second one at the end there. Clever girl. There we go. We got our revenge. Definitely want to take a battle just so I can heal up after that. <laughs> Well, thanks for making that choice easy, game. Alright, so Dekareba, no weaknesses. Just gonna hit it hard, so call in Brad for that. 1200 HP could potentially drop a big berry. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I was going to heal up in this battle. Plus side is first aid acts first every time. No complaints. And that was enough to kill. Thank you, Cannon. Not uh, worthwhile on experience, though. So I may actually heal up outside of battle. Of all the places where there are no gems. Okay, this one's actually much easier simply because we can intercept them along the way. Oh, they speed up. And the next floor should have our mid- <laughs> Okay, lamp. Actually, uh, land lampreys. These guys are weak to lightning. So, Tim, if you're faster than them, go ahead and give it a little zap. They have 600 HP, so hopefully, Cannon and Brad can take one down on this side. Now, I may want to now bring Ashley in because he's got the higher attack power. Yeah, that attack is not not too bad. If it takes more than one round, definitely heal up with Tim. I'll probably bring in the others for some potential healing. Yeah, it says it's weak to lightning, but I'm a little skeptical now. Since they attacked with their own lightning. Never mind. You're right on that one, guide. Oh, I didn't equip Brad's new weapon. Okay, never mind. He made up for the difference anyway. Alright, uh, let's let him hit things even harder now with that uppercut. Oh yeah, <laughs> much better. And... Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and... Give Tim the Mystic Word to increase his sorcery. Let's give Ashley the Weather Bane, and that's going to be very important later. Brad, you take the Elven Boots, and he needs a... Give him Aru Sulato. 
Actually, you still have Fanglon because you were stealing stuff. Uh, you had Grudiev. But at the same time... Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, boost, beef his attack power too. Alright, so we have not found the last enemy in here called uh, Bucky Pete, which is weak to earth, 900 HP, looks like a gargoyle. We may or may not run into it, we're only halfway through this dang place. Just look at this! The summons traffic confinement. What would he do in this situation? Would he get out right away, or because they had people behind him he had to protect? Would he? No, it's not right. It's because he trusted those following him. He was able to get out right away. I need to take a lesson from him. Welcome to one of the hardest bosses in the game. Explosive Emperor Monster, Belclare. This guy has made people rage quit, especially those who do not get the HP up personal skill. So we are going to need our tankiest characters. And I may still bring Tim in for quick healing. But we're going to want to spread out the damage. Uh, the, each uh, subsection has 4800 HP. The main section has 9600 HP. First order of business, lucky card. Ashley, you want to want to take out the drill. Lilka, definitely shield. But since we're faster than it, that is already off to a good start. This, we fought something kind of like this in Wild Arms 1. But yeah, this is one of those battles where I definitely want to get access, Ashley accessed ASAP. So I'm not going to worry too much about uh, working on Cannon's abilities right now. Yeah, look at that. Even Brad, 2,000 damage. And I definitely want to get... Yeah, so this, is this is worth using uh, a carrot for. Brad can very likely tank one more. Luka needs... I just need enough to get her cast high heal. Is this guy, I think this guy only tar single targets characters. We'll see. Downside is... Okay, yeah, but Brad should survive this. He should, he should survive it. Ooh. Yep, go ahead and... Actually, yeah, let's uh, get him built up so we can use lock on with that rail gun. And then it won't take too, it won't be too hard to get it back up. So Ashley, another one, and high heal on Brad. Hopefully, this is enough to let him take more than one attack. Okay, yeah. Oh, I like those numbers. Once we get that drill down, it should be a little better. I don't know if this guy has an AOE. If he does, not fun. You're already all ready for access. Let's go ahead and do that there, Ashley. And high heal you. Now this is the team I'm going to be uh, using for most of the bonus bosses too. If anything, because they have the most levels where they got the HP bonuses. With some exceptions. Resonance Quake? Well, that's what Mystic is for. Alright, let's go ahead and lock on with that railgun. Go straight for the chest. And yep, we got enough big berries for this. Mystic. So I was wrong on it not having AOE attacks, which kind of sucks.
There you go. We got topped off. Yeah, if you're ever going to use the rail gun, lock on. For the most part, it's one where you want to get a few bullets and then beef up its attack. Thank you for giving Gluka some more FP. She needed that. And nice thing is I can go on the offensive, but I'm not going to use her ability just yet. Okay. Go ahead and lock on the AM cluster. And Luka just uh, hit the drill with a saber. I think that destroyed the drill. Yep, it's no longer spinning. Now, did that target the chest or the main body? I think it targeted the main body. Megaton attack. Uh, that's one that's gonna be dangerous. Oh yeah. <laughs> Got another lock on. Yeah, this guy is probably one of the reasons why you want to do this Diablo Pillar last. But fortunately, everyone should be able to tank a Megaton attack. Especially at full HP. I'm a little worried about Lilka. She should be okay. Weakness? Oh boy, that's everybody. <laughs> oh, I had no, did not know he had that. Makes this a little more dangerous. Well, we can lock on again. Ashley can not quite ready for Banisher. But we are full offensive round. Because worst comes to worst, I just use a what am I a crest caps with high revive if someone dies. Alright, that's the last of Brad's FP, but hopefully hopefully he gets attacked, because he's the one who can tank this most easily. <laughs> Another Megaton attack, going for Ashley. You should be fine. Yep. Yeah, only an extra 100 damage. So, punch. Let's go for Banisher. Kamehameha! Booyah! Nice finisher, Ashley. So, 20k experience. Everyone is a 29. Best best. I believe that's an armor for Brad. And take a breather. We've earned it.